and here we are. The reason why we got here today, Ramsons. I will take one. It is an edible plant, but it is best eaten when it's very young. I don't know if I'm too late, but if I'm not, it will be perfect time for ramsons or wild garlic, if you wish. Uh, there are some more ways how you can call it. Here they call it bear's onion, if I would translate it just like that. It is one of the most famous and one of the most common edibles that appear in early spring and mid-spring. So, I already know one patch, one specific spot where it appears. I'm hoping to find it again. The only worry I have is, is it too late? I have my bag prepared here. It's a Christmas bag. <laughs> I'll confuse people. They see me. I look like some kind of a wood elf or something. Christmas elf. I don't know. But yeah, this is exactly the terrain where you would find Ramsons. There is a stream down there. There is a forest around. It is damp, a bit cold. And when you find them, this entire area is covered by them. It looks beautiful, actually. Now let's see if I got here too early or too late. Not ramsons, but something else. Everything here is filled with ground elder. I will take one. It is an edible plant but it is best eaten when it's very young. So if you find it, it usually grows together with ivy. So here is the ivy and here is ground elder. You have three leaves at the top and two on the sides, seven total. I mean, depends how you count them because these two are sort of branched further. You need to be careful, of course, and only, only know what you are foraging and how things exactly look. This is the young one. If you scatter around, you find the young ones. And this is what you would want to pick when it comes to ground elder. These are the ones you would want to have in your stew or salad or anything, depending on the way you want to eat it. You can actually find this even earlier, sometimes in February or something like that, late February and so on, when they just start to grow. Maybe it's a bit harder because at that point they are very young. But yeah, see, this entire field is full of edibles. I could basically pick few, I don't know, bags of not a few only because I can carry a few, but many more than a few bags full of wild edible leaves. And why it is called the wild elder? It is called like that because it resembles elder tree blossoms, but it grows from the ground. Maybe I will find a way to compare two of them if I find them side by side. In, even though I think maybe these will bloom a bit later, I'm not sure. We will see. And here we are. The reason why we got here today, Ramsons. Entire small slope here filled with them. Slope above me, also not so much, but there are few here and there. Here they are. How to be certain? is like with all the other onions, the rule is if it smells like an onion, it is an onion. 
you know, people might laugh to this and say, yeah, obviously, but it's not that obvious. There are things in nature that can smell alike and then kill you if you misidentify them. But in the case of the onions, if it looks and smells like it, it is an onion. And you are pretty sure what you have. Now, I already know this area and I'm foraging here for quite some time. So I'm maybe much more re relaxed than a newbie would be. So I must say and call you all again to be very careful about what you're picking because uh, especially if you if you start to pick these see I see them pick them there might be something very similar growing next to it and if you pick it just in a bulk without attention you might accidentally pick something else and that something else can maybe even be fatal depending on what it is so always be careful now it's time for picking finally Now I went slightly off track in a different terrain, so I'm in the different forest, but not too far away. And I wanted to show you how easy it is to confuse things concerning ramsons and wild garlic and potentially pick something toxic. So this is something from the lily family. And actually I did confirm this is so-called Turk's cap or dragon's lily. There are many more names. I was in this forest before and I actually managed to record it while it had flowers. So I certainly <laughs> know and am 100% sure that this is one of those. But uh, here is the thing, when you look at it, it resembles ramsons so much. The color of the leaves, the shape of the leaves, these little lines it has. The only thing that strikes me at greatly different is the smell. And that's why smell is so important. And that's why you need to be careful when you're picking ramsons because this could be easily confused with ramsons if you just, you know, pick, like I said, in a bulk and you don't pay attention what you're picking. Lilies do not smell like onions. No, not at all. So that's one way to identify it. If you looked at it closely, you could most likely, you know, identify some other differences because ramsons would likely have larger leaves maybe maybe something would be different than this but i must say it is quite similar even to a mid-range experienced forager and again be careful always be careful when you're picking stuff not too far away from this lily there is another one here it is I'm not sure which one this is, maybe chocolate lily, maybe something similar. But yeah, unlike that one, this does not resemble ramsons, ramsons too much because of the dark, slightly reddish stem it has. But either way, could be easily confused if you're not careful and those are just one of the things that might create problems. When we're talking about onions and misidentifications, lily family is your greatest enemy. Lilies will grow at the same time in the same terrains as onions and they will quite look alike. The only thing they want to do is smell alike. 
So again, be very careful. Mm -hmm.